The Getaway Games were a series of open-world action-adventure titles based on gang and police life in the city of London. This third installment was originally planned for release on the PlayStation 3 and had been gaining a lot of hype after gameplay elements were shown to the public in the mid-2000s. Sadly, development on The Getaway 3 was cancelled in 2008 in order for the studio to concentrate on other projects. First officially revealed at E3 back in 2005, City of the Metronome promised a truly original gaming experience. This third-person action-adventure involved the protagonist using pre-recorded sounds in order to defeat the monstrous creatures that lurked within the game's steampunk-esque setting. Sadly, it was City of the Metronome's uniqueness that contributed to its downfall. At the time, publishers just weren't willing to take a risk on an unconventional game from a new developer. City of the Metronome has remained in limbo ever since. Moving a game series famous for being a real-time strategy mainstay into first-person shooter territory can be tricky. This certainly proved to be the case when EA Los Angeles began working on Tiberium, a squad-based first-person shooter set in the Command and Conquer universe. Powered by Unreal Engine 3, the player took on the role of a retired GDI commando forced back into action. After two years in development, EA cancelled Tiberium in late 2008 as it didn't meet their quality standards. Making a video game based on everyone's favorite, mildly psychotic detective may sound like a great idea, but in the end, it just wasn't meant to be. Dirty Harry was a third-person action shooter game in which players took on the role of Clint Eastwood's inspector Harry Callahan. Intended for a multi-platform release in late 2007, Dirty Harry was cancelled in March that year as publishers Warner Brothers were unsatisfied with the quality of what had been produced so far. A shame, as the game was said to have Hollywood A-listers ready to lend their vocal talents and even contained moral choice mechanics. Irrational Games, the company behind the amazing Bioshock series, started work in 2005 on a cooperative first-person shooter zombie game. Essentially, Division 9 was left for dead only years earlier mixed together with strategic base-building mechanics. What could have been an amazing title got cancelled when the company was taken over by Take-Two and all production efforts were refocused on the first Bioshock game. First announced way back in 2005, The Outsider was to be an open-world action stealth game from Elite creator David Braben. It promised an unprecedented level of freedom, a complex morality system, and an advanced facial animation system. The game was in development for almost five years before being dropped by publishers Codemasters after company restructuring. EA showed interest in buying the almost complete game and turning it into a Jason Bourne title, but this came to nothing. Braben recently stated that The Outsider is probably gone for good. Necessary Force was an open-ended action game from Wheelman developers Midway Newcastle. Players took on the role of a detective out to clean up the streets of a futuristic city. It involved trying to find a balance between going by the book for happier bosses or roughing up criminals for faster results. The game world was to reflect the crime statistics of the city. Less crime meant a more prosperous looking landscape, whereas if the criminals started getting the upper hand, the streets would begin resembling slums. Unfortunately, the studio was shut down in 2009 and the project shelved. When it was first announced over a decade ago, StarCraft Ghost was supposed to be Blizzard's major breakthrough into the console market. A spin-off from the hugely popular StarCraft real-time strategy games, Ghost was a third-person stealth and team-based actioner. While it did look promising, the title was put on indefinite hold in 2006, with Blizzard claiming the consoles at the time could not cope with the game that they wanted to make. But in 2014, Blizzard announced StarCraft Ghost's status had moved from being on hold to cancelled. Not all assets from StarCraft Ghost were lost. The game's protagonist, Nova, shows up in one campaign mission of StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. She also features in Heart of the Swarm and several StarCraft novels. The idea of playing as a bounty hunter in a new Star Wars action-adventure game caused fans of the series to hyperventilate with excitement. It was to be the first ever Star Wars game to receive an M for mature rating, mainly due to its adult themes and character motivations throughout the story. This was a dark and gritty Star Wars, something that fans had been crying out for. 
A fantastic looking gameplay trailer was released in 2012, throwing even more fuel into the hype fire, but 1313 was constantly being changed, postponed, or simply disappearing off the radar for months at a time. The final nail in the coffin came with Disney's purchase of Lucasfilm and all of its gaming projects were shut down. Blizzard's World of Warcraft massively multiplayer online game has had more cumulative hours spent playing it than any other game in history. So when it was revealed that the company had been working on yet another MMO for over 10 years, the results were expected to be something special. The working title for this project was Titan. Taking place on a near-future version of Earth, which has just successfully fended off an alien invasion, players would join one of three factions waging a cold war over control of the planet. The game could be played in first or third person and many comparisons to Team Fortress 2 were made. Some thought this could have been the PC rival to Bungie's console-exclusive Destiny, only with extra MMO elements added. In the end, Titan got cancelled. While Blizzard wasn't overly specific about why, the general consensus seems to be that it simply wasn't good enough. All was not lost though, as what remained of Titan was turned into the company's upcoming multiplayer first-person shooter, Overwatch.